everybody, meteorologist Liz McGiffin here, and in today's experiment, we're going to make some dancing raisins. So the things that you're going to need for this, a clear cup, some water, got this out of the sink right before we started recording this, and a carbonated drink. So you could use carbonated water, or in my case, I'm using some Sprite. Some Sprite 7-Up, something like that would work. Just want to make sure that you can see through the liquid as well. And of course, since it's raisins we're going to make dance, you could probably try with things like a gummy worm, but I'm using just a handful of raisins as well. So we'll start with our control. So we're going to figure out what happens with raisins and liquid. So start by taking your water, fill up your cup, and then next step, all you have to do, grab a handful of raisins, just drop them in and see what happens. You'll notice maybe a few bubbles from the initial splash. Otherwise, the big thing that happens is just the raisins kind of sit at the bottom. The reason for this is that the raisin is more dense than the actual water that's going in. So let's see what happens when we change up a few things. Next thing I'm gonna have you do, take another cup, or if you just have one clear cup, just empty it out so that way you have an empty cup. Then grab your clear carbonated drink. Again, this can be carbonated water, Sprite, anything like that. And then fill it up in the cup. First thing that you're going to notice right away is a big difference from the water versus the carbonated drink are all of those bubbles. Well, the carbonated drink gets its name from carbon dioxide. So that's actually the gas that's creating all of these little bubbles. And then just like what we did with the water, grab a handful of your raisins and then drop them in and start to watch what happens. You'll notice right away, there are even more bubbles going on in here. And eventually what happens is that within the grooves of all of these little raisins, the bubbles start to fill in. And since gas is less dense than the liquid, they're going to rise up to the surface. Eventually you start to get a dancing effect or the bubbles get caught up in the grooves of the raisin. They start to rise up or dance their way up to the top. Then as those bubbles start to pop, well, the raisin starts to become more dense than the liquid it's in and then it'll eventually drop its way right back down to the bottom. Now, carbon dioxide gas, it's not a dangerous gas, so don't worry about that. It's actually something that's around us all of the time. It's a completely see-through gas and also a greenhouse gas. That means that it impacts our environment and also plays a big part in the weather. Greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide gas, they play a big part in absorbing infrared heat, and as a result, it's gonna play an impact on our temperature as well. If you're interested in finding more experiments like this, you can head over to our website, nbc4i.com.